Now, we're asked to identify the slope point intercept into the equation of the line for each of these graphs. And for the first graph, A, the y-intercept is 5, so B is equal to 5. And the slope, every time we go up 1, we go over 1. So there is a rise of 1 and a run of 1, so we can write this as M is equal to 1 over 1, so M is equal to 1. Now if we're going to write the equation of the line, remember that the equation of the line is in the form, and I'm going to write it over here, y equals mx plus b, and so we can write this as y equals, we can write 1x, but we're just going to write um, x because this is understood to be a 1 for the coefficient, so that's 1x plus 5. So our equation is y equals x plus 5. Now for b, we have a y-intercept at 2. So our b is equal to 2. And every time we go, and I would put a point there because this is uh, the corner of the grid, and we can take any two points where the line crosses the corners in the grid. But here we go up 1 and over 2. So our rise is 1 and our run is 2. So our m for this is equal to 1 over 2. And if we're going to write the equation of line b, it's y equals mx plus b, which is 1 half x plus 2. So that's the equation for line b. For c, this line crosses right at the origin. And so our b then is equal to 0. And our rise between these two points, and we can pick any two points where the line crosses the grid, the rise is 3 and the run is 1. So m is equal to 3 over 1, which is the same thing as 3. So our equation of the line is y equals 3x, and we could write plus 0, but we don't need it because we're not adding or subtracting anything, so our equation is y equals 3x. And remember, this is an example of direct variation because the line crosses right at the origin or at the point 0, 0. And all the rest of these would represent partial variation because they cross at um, a point on the y-axis other than 0, 0. And for d, our y-intercept is negative 2, so b is negative 2, and notice that the line goes down 1 and over 1, so this this case, if you look at these four lines, the only line that goes down to the right is d, so it's the only line with negative slope. So our m is equal to negative 1 over 1, which is the same as negative 1. So m is equal to negative 1 in this case, and b is negative 2. So our equation is y equals negative x minus 2. And remember again that lines that go down to the right have negative slope.